Yeah, I know it's hard to see the future and imagine it's bright. I have dimmed my lights down, I keep crashing at night. Every foster home I'm rusted in, I'm highly distorted. The pain ain't going nowhere, I don't try to avoid it. Adapted to nightmares, so it is hard to stay focused. Homie, I've been homeless, I struggle to know what hope is told my bro. Hold tight, a cold night, and I hate it. Sleep through the horrors, though, not to know if I make it. Used to scrunch up newspapers, stuck it under my jacket. Underneath the layers, homie, I was broken and damaged. I often wondered what happened, if I'm loving and happy. I'm not used to that, though, I am destruction and havoc. Sometimes it's too much to bear, can you carry my load? I know the streets snatch you up, so we rarely die old. I used to sleep next to bakeries to gain some warmth. Kind of crazy how you save me in the heart of the storm. So build me up and take me home. I'll leave behind this concrete pillow. So build me up and take me home. I'll leave behind yeah. this concrete pillow. My decisions are haunting me, I ain't staring at fate And you ain't missing much than watching me deteriorate Like an undeveloped form which was born for life Instead, tortured in darkness and torn from light And my burden is so heavy that my neck is weak Use concrete as a pillow, yes I slept on streets And I don't understand why it's rest in peace Even though it ain't an option for most that left to cease I can greet you with a smile while I'm calling your name Underneath my grin, homie, there is torture and pain And the burden I'm carrying is now a ball and chain I often run in sunshine Then I walk in rain It's the tune that soothes me It pours like medicine My music can tell my story More than I ever can I ain't trying to get sympathy Or blow up my chest It's the only way, homie I release all my stress Stress Hello there everybody, this is Kenji Gaming and this is Kenji with you. Um, we're doing a, another, um, oh my god, um, Train Team World uh, 2. Oh my god, I can't even think right now. Um, and we're doing the rerouted scenario again um, because I had to do an abrupt end due to an IRL personal issue early this morning and then I had to go out so um, it took me a little bit to get back on but we are back on so now this is the schedule for rerouted so it's not that difficult um, there's a few stops in between and all that, but which is fine. Um, so, where when we go in, we've got to do the setup of the train, load our passengers. Ugh, sorry, load our passengers, get moving. Um, then we're stopping at Gatwick Airport at sixteen forty-three thirty. We have to reload passengers, and then we're stopping at Haywards Heath, doing another load of passengers, stopping at Hassocks, and 
proceeding on to Brighton. Um, so let's get right into the game and yeah, I will chat with you throughout. I have made some changes to um, OBS, so hopefully the chat overlay will now show up. Um, and I won't have a problem with that now, so um, I will just see how that goes. But just give me one sec, I just need to readjust my mic before we get back in. And okay, all right, that all right, so here we go, and let's get into the game. All right, so it's train setup time. Master key is on, reverser set to neutral, now get up there, our headlights are on day running, there's a whistle, we've got to unlock the door so we can load the passengers, and I'll give a honk at the same time. Oh yeah, I opened the right platform doors. Um, close my security door off. Check this door. Yep. Lock that. That's all good. Um, flick on my cabin lights for when we go through the darkness. So we've got to wait until 4.15 before we depart. So our passengers have loaded, but we have a 1 minute 20 second wait until we can get rolling. Um, my window down. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's all right. I'll just open the door. So about 45 seconds until we lock the doors and hit the tracks on the Kangi Express. Ticket checks are in operation at this station. Please have your tickets ready for inspection. Well, thank you for that announcement, love. This driver doesn't need a ticket. Alright, let's put the window down. Gives us a bit of extra um, in-game sounds. Alright. So, let's get ready to signal. Lock our doors, and we're good to go. Okay, so now we put our throttle into Ford. And we have a green light, and it's off we go to Gatwick Airport. Estimated arrival time 16.43.30, currently 16.15.45. So as we're just coming out, we will do a... Well, where are you? Horn honk. It's a toot toot. <laughs> 
So when I um, get someone to start ta talking in chat, um, I will see whether the overlay is working. So I might need to pause just briefly to adjust it if need be. Um, but we will see when we get to that stage. Um, now, I'm not feeling too bad at the moment. Haven't long had pain meds. It's only 4.30 in the afternoon. So I might try and do a couple of scenarios. So I might try and go for a couple of hours in this session instead of just the normal hour. Um, but the way my health is, anything could actually happen. So, um, a lot of things just get played. Oh, I don't want breaks. I want power. Still evening. Yeah. And there's the chat overlay coming up. But the problem with that is the color. Yeah, the actual chat overlay comes up on the stream now. Um, but the only problem with that is, let me just flick this back over for one sec. Um, and I will keep it on this screen because I actually need to be able to see this. Um, is the color of the chat is actually coming up in purple or a bright pink and that is not what I selected it's supposed to be white um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to change that in here or whether we will just have to put up with it for this stream and I fix it on the next one Yeah, I, I don't have an option in here to do it. So I will fix it for the next stream. So it is white, but let's just get straight back into the game and I will fix that next time. Actually, that is really going to annoy me. So just give me one sec. I just got to log on to Streamlabs and get the new code and fix that. So I will just be right back with you. So I'll set that as BRB and just fix this. I want my Streamlabs. I want my widgets, I want my chat box, and I just want to change that to there, and save changes, and copy that, we add that into, so I need to now bring the live back up. Sorry about this, folks, um, but I literally could not test this out. Um, um, Alright, so that should have just fixed that now. Bring the mic back closer like I need. Alright, so we should be right with that now. Um, so, Warren, can you just type something so I can give that a test? Put my window up, I can hardly hear anything. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, one kilometer we can increase to 97 kilometers an hour. Whatever the hell that is in um, miles per hour. Okay, perfect. Um, it's now coming up in white. So literally when people watch the stream back, they can see the live chat coming up. So I'm not sure if you can see that watching. Um, I think it's more just for my end. But on the stream that I'm watching on the iPad, I can actually see it coming up as well. Alright, I'm over speed a little. Alright, that's where we stop. Oh, I don't want to break. Yeah, so that's good. That's what I was talking about. Oh, okay. Um... No, not speed increase. Decrease. Come on. Decrease. Quick, 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 quick. Some reason we've got to stop in 200 meters. And um, I was paying a bit more attention to the other screen was then. So I'm. All right, there we go. We got parents to go. Okay, if you can hear some background noise, it's because I've got a stupid lawnmower guy outside at 4.30 in the fucking afternoon and they're not allowed on the promise, I'm sorry, on these premises after midday. It's a part of their contract. So, I'll be dealing with that one tomorrow. Actually, no, not tomorrow. I'll be dealing with that on Thursday um, because tomorrow is a public holiday. Now, I have also decided that over the next couple of days, I'm thinking maybe even tomorrow, since it is a public holiday, of doing a... Oh, we got a... We've got a ready. We've got a ready. Brakes. No, which way right? All right. Um, I, yeah, sorry. Um, I'm thinking of doing a between four and six hour straight stream. Um, so I'd be doing multiple DLC packs, um, possible multiple games. Um, showing you some of the 5M coding backend that I'm doing at the moment. Um, what aren't you hearing? Oh, okay. Um, I thought it was being picked up because it was... I wasn't talking at that stage and the microphone volume was going up to half. Um, he had that stupid damn blow thing blowing all the leaves off the path from the mess he just made. Um, so I assumed it was coming through, but... I'm pleased that wasn't. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, tomorrow, because it is a public holiday here, it's also my mum's birthday, so I'll have a brief video chat with her in the morning. Um, but I'm thinking later in the day of doing between a four to six hour straight live stream. 
um, possible multiple games, multiple DLCs within this this game as well. So, and also showing you some of the back end coding that I do within my 5M server um, and connecting to my local host so you can see a little bit of a preview of the next version which I'm looking at releasing very soon. So on Thursday morning, um, I go and get my visor COVID booster. So, and I've got to have that in my left arm because my right's my dominant. Um, and it's going to be a little interesting because literally um, I use my left arm for the keys on the keypad for this game. Um, so I usually get a sore arm for two, three days after that damn shot. Yeah, server two is for after I've, um, got the things on the local host, um, where I've just got a complete fresh install and just doing, um, new scripts and checking them out before. I move them on to the test beta server. There's there's a logic behind my madness. Um, because doing it straight through server two um, is constant re-downloads, um, downloading files to edit and re-upload and all that, where this way I just do it locally and then just upload all the files and then edit them as need be. I still need to find that button. To, oh, I'm on the side here, which will give me the low horn because the, the, the space just does the high horn where I honestly prefer this one. I prefer the low horn instead of the high horn. So we can pick up a bit more speed. Now we're on a 0.6 of an incline. All right, 28 kilometers away from Gatwick Airport, uh, due to arrive at 1643.30, currently 1627.15. Control spacebar. Yeah, that's still high. Yeah, no, that's still high. Unless... Yeah, even the right side... Oops, overspeed. No, I don't want more power. I want to decrease speed. There we go. Oh. So I am going to create a schedule onto my Twitch page for tomorrow um, 
for my um, first Mammoth live stream for between four and six hours. It's going to be a four hour minimum um, and probably a six hour max. So that is going to be interesting. Um, but I've got no problems gas bagging, so I don't think it will be a problem. Make sure I've got plenty of smokes, a nice two litre cold bottle of juice. And I will be all good to go. Now, I wonder... So by tomorrow when I want to do this, um, I'll try and get a lot of the keyboard commands down packed, um, which I'm going to need. So, Warren, I, um, I literally informed Sean earlier that he's now my 2IC. And the um, other pink roll is now gone completely, as you know. So the only thing I need to... Oh, hang on, is my window down? Oh, no. Um, the only thing I need to look at now is... I want to get a 3IC as well. Um, but that one I will give um, a bit of thought to. Because I know Sean can't always be around as well, so... Um, especially if he's on call with work. So I need to try to get a 3IC. And I do have someone in mind, I just need to have a chat with them.
Okay, sorry about this. I just noticed a little problem over on Streamlabs, um, which I just need to sort. I'm going to take a moment to fix this. All right, there we go, that's fixed. Um, somehow I accidentally hid my, hid my chat. Oh, sorry, that was the other thing I needed to do. Um, one quick second. Um, I've just got to change a key control. Ah, uh, bugger you. Yeah. Okay, so that should now also be fixed. All right, so hopefully no more of that in between this. Um, okay, my speed's gone down for some reason and I can go to 145. Right, so we're 17 kilometers away from Gatwick Airport and we're about nine minutes from our scheduled arrival. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing a quite lengthy stream, like four to six hours is going to be quite a lengthy one. so. Need to make sure I've got plenty of snacks and drinks right beside me so I don't have to get off this fat ass out of this chair to be going around doing other stuff. So plenty of smokes, plenty of juice, plenty of snacks, and I'm good to sit here and play games all day long. start using proper um, train terminology, I believe. Got to find out what that is for the UK, though. Now, I believe you're also supposed to toot your horn at other locations um, other than just 
as you're approaching into a station. So I need to have a look into that as to what that is over there. I know here in Australia at crossings, um, uh, train stations, all that public -y area, you are supposed to do a toot. And even when a, you see another train approaching, Right, so we've got a speed de we've got a speed limit decrease in thirteen hundred meters. So start bringing on the brakes. It's not a major one, so it's pretty quick to get there. And we're there. So, any idea when you're back on the road, Boz? Oh, okay, um, sweet. Do you go far? And don't tell me what it is in miles, because I will have no damn idea. I just told you not to do that. Uh, I think that's quite a distance. Maybe about 600 kilometers or more. <laughs> yeah, gotta love the um, chat time delay. All right, 4.5 miles till Gatwick Airport. Oh, okay, we have a, oh, no, we can go back up. We did have a stop sign, 600 meters. All right, so we've got a speed decrease to 97 kilometers in 2.8. That's just as we're pulling into Gatwick. So I'd be going a bit less. Oh, and there's that damn thing again. Is it gonna change? Yeah. Miss that station horn. Whoops. At least you don't lose points or anything for that. Alright, so I need to start doing a decrease because we're only 1200 meters away.
All right, so we're arriving at Gatwick and we will be on time. Literally perfect. Oh no, I don't want to close the doors. Damn, I haven't even opened them yet. There we go. Let's get some fresh air while we're here. Because we will be here for a couple of minutes. Um, we're not scheduled to depart till 16.45 and it's only 16.40, nearly 16.43. So do you know what your plans are tomorrow was? Are you on the road or um, are you going to be stationary or what's the go for tomorrow? Um, what's some places on the East Coast that I actually might know? Alright, 25 seconds till we can get the hell out of here. that door lever. Three, two, one, and doors closed. Oi! Get away from my door, woman! Jeez. Alright, let's get out of here. And where are we off to now? We're off to Haywood's Heath. 17 kilometers. What a name for a station. Haywood's Heath. Sounds a bit like a cartoon character to me. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. I've actually heard of all of those places. Alright, let's pick up the full speed because we can get up to 145 at the moment. I did forget to do my whistle, but... Oh no, it wasn't the whistle. What was the other thing that I found? It was this one. It was the signal bell. That's the one I should be using. Along where? Ah. 
I would really like to visit New York. Um, a few places in the States I would like to visit at some stage if I can get the opportunity to get there. Um, would be New York, um, obviously Austin, um, and another spot in Texas to go and visit a long-term friend. Well, actually a couple of them, and I know they're not that far apart. Um, and if I ever could get there, try and set it up so you're around the area at the same time. Kidnap you on your route for a bit and um, go and get some food. All right, so we're 14 kilometers away from Haywood's Heath, due at 16.55.30. Uh, what are we currently? 16.48 exactly. Yeah, I know, it would take a bit of saving to do, and then I'd also have to think about how I'd get around over there with what's coming up. Um, I obviously would not be able to get my mobility scooter onto an aircraft um, or travel around the US with it, so that would be a major problem. But still, it is something on my bucket list, but unfortunately, um, I don't think it is actually going to happen. Yeah, I know a wheelchair wouldn't be a problem, but my my mobility scooter is quite large um, and heavy, so it would probably cost me a shitload to actually get that on as well. And I wouldn't want to just have a wheelchair um, to get around with. My arms aren't that strong to be wheeling myself around everywhere.
uh, about just over four kilometers till Haywood's Heath. I really don't like saying that name. Oh, this is that long ass bridge. about time to start reducing speed we're one kilometer out about 500 meters now break three uh, I might have did this a little bit too late I oh know, should be right. She'll be right. And a little bit more power. Two and three. There we go. We arrived three minutes, sorry, three seconds early. How perfect was that? Oh, oh no, I need that on. So, for me, I always open the doors when we get to a station. It's, I pretend I'm like a real train driver and just getting a bit of fresh air coming in. While passengers are loading and we're waving. So we've got 30 seconds before we're due for departure again. That's about 10 seconds, so let's get ready. Close that. The dispatcher has allocated us onto the up line to run to Brighton. We will cross over onto the other track now. Okay, so that must be the reroute um, that they were talking about for this. But it does sound a bit strange. Um, I haven't been able to get right through to, um, I think the final stop's Brighton. If I remember right, the last, yeah, the last stop is Brighton. Um, we 
because of a few things I haven't been able to get right through this yet. So we'll definitely be doing that this time unless I get caught by a red signal. Now, I think there's also a button that I can bring, I think it's this one. Yeah, I can literally bring up the um, schedule on here and see, instead of having to do what I was just doing, I forgot about that. All right, so the next stop is Hassocks. Hassocks. Interesting name. Again. Uh, we've got a major decrease in speed in three kilometers. Um, Hassocks is only 7.4 kilometers away. Um, yeah, all right, so Mike was a little far away there, so now it's back in right level. But now it's too far in my damn face. Yeah. All right, we got a red signal coming up. And she doesn't appear to be going away. Come on, come on, come on. Get those brakes down. And we failed. Ah, oh, shit. Literally by a few meters. They could give you a little bit of leeway, like really. Yeah, looking at on the the delay on Twitter, um, on my iPad, literally a few meters over. Like, fuck, they, they can see that you're slowing down. It's like, fucking hell. All right, so here we go. Starting this one all over again. Have to go through the entire setup process again. Such a pain in the ass when this happens, and it really annoys me. That's all ready. You're ready to go. Um, that one's on. See, for some reason, I thought it was actually going to change like it has every other time, but no, it didn't. All right, so the passengers have loaded and we've still got to wait till 4.15 or 16.15 as it says, so a minute and a half. We'll just take a look outside.
it so annoys me when that happens. It's like, um, it's not like you've majorly gone over. It's just like a couple of meters. Like, I get it though, it's a red signal and you have to stop before it, but damn, a little bit of flexibility would go a long way. But I also suppose, thinking about it IRL, um, literally even going just a little bit over could cause serious issues. Alright, so we're about 20 seconds away from departure, so I'll get myself all set up here, security doors all closed. Make sure this door's locked properly. Yep. Ready to lock the doors. In three, two, one, and now. Alright, so we need to put you into the board. Off we go. So, 38 Ks until Gatwood Airport all over again. Pain in the fucking ass. Nice and cold apple and black currant juice. Nothing better other than coffee. Come on, 60 meters to increase my speed.
First time I've ever run into a stop sign right here. Oh, perfect. Oh. Okay, so. We made that one. We got another one. In about 400 meters. I don't want to go too fast. Okay, there we go. We're clear. So it looks like I lost my wild joker. Oh, okay, the chat went down to just one viewer, which was um, me on the iPad, so I thought I lost you. Okay, slight adjustment of the mic there, just to make things a little easier for me, and hopefully that wasn't causing an issue. That way I can see everything properly. There we go. Alright, so we can do a speed pickup. Like, even though this mic is really good um it's damn annoying just trying to get it into the right position um but once i get it there with the right volume and all that it's literally perfect then i just move it back when i mute it and i'm not using it i must say best investment that someone ever helped get. Um, and it will be even better when I get my corner desk for my office set up because it could be set up completely properly then. Without having all the obstructions that I currently have. So what's on the dinner menu for you tonight, sir? Taco Bell. I've heard so much about that place, but we don't have one of those over here. Um, 
I do homemade tacos and they are the bomb. They are the best homemade tacos. All right, what have we got? Gatwick Airport, 29 kilometers. Arrival 1643.30, currently on 1625.40. I still need to look at those. They're coming too close apart. Oh, I mean, too close together, not too close apart. What the fuck? I blame my pain medication. Oh, we got incline. How big? Point six. I'm also starting to wonder if it's the horn or the signal that I should be using when I go through there. But I don't think I really should be doing that one. That's really just to let passengers know to get the fuck on board. We're about to leave. Well, it is over here anyway. Get on board or you get left behind. adjusting the mic that's what does it every fucking time how the hell is it over speed again One kilometer and we get to 145. Yay. Fucking 
finally get some um, decent speed on the Kenki Express. So, Warren, would you jump on the Kenki Express with me driving? That'll probably be a hell no. <laughs> yeah. Why, what's wrong? You think I'll crash? No, I haven't crashed. I've just gone through a red light just a little bit. I haven't derailed or anything or crashed into another train. I did not. Actually, I played the fifth. Driving kilometers out from the airport. It would be good to get through this rerouted scenario though, so I can move on to the next one.
that chat window is supposed to be hired after a certain period of time. I stuffed something up when I went in um, and changed the colour. Attention passengers, this is your driver speaking. We are arriving shortly at Gatwick Airport. Please exit the train in a swiftly manner. Thank you for traveling Kangi Express and get the fuck off my train. I'd be a great train driver. All right, 4.5 k's out, so speed decrease coming up very soon. All right, one kilometer and we're down, so breaks up. All right, breaks back. 
go 3.5 out. So we're at Gatwick Airport. Got about a minute 45 before we depart. Pretty bunch of flowers in the little flower box outside my door. might use this little second just to get out of my seat, go for a little trip outside, have a look up for you. Damn you noisy bugger. to get back in. Get back in my seat. Ah, da -da 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 -da. Where's my door? Close the door.
and we're off and going again for another 17 k's to the name i don't like pronouncing haywood's heath so i am just going to rename it and say we're off to heath What the hell, max speed? Our speed limit at the moment is up at 145. So we'll try and get up there as quick as we can. Okay, I just reached some milestone that came up. Oh, it was a reward for driving, I think, just over 3,800 miles. Damn, have I done that much in this game already? Yep, still a rookie. Still a rookie for sure. Still got a lot to learn.
nine rock nine uh, bogga laga can't speak um 8.7 kilometers till we get on heat Six o'clock. Uh, that time again. More pain meds. What a fucking life I lead. I'm so sick of it after four years of this shit. We're coming into Hayward's Heath, so time to start decreasing our speed. So I don't go over that red marker again.
right on the borderline too. Thank goodness it's me up here. Alright, passengers are nearly loaded. We can see that by the yellow marker up top. And now they're loaded and we can't depart until 16.56.30. So about 50 seconds. And then we will be off to Hassox. Off to Hassox. Once they really should be calling it Hassox. onto the other train track now so we are good to go right so we got hassocks in 9.3 kilometers Um, last time around, we didn't even make it to Hassox. So, let's hope we do this time. I've also noticed these scenarios are getting longer and longer um, as we go through, which is good, but I still really want a, I can say, an all stop train through to somewhere. Coming up. Come on, come on, breaky, 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 breaky. All right. Had to hit the emergency brake on this one. Hopefully, we will stop in time. Oh my god, it's going to be so close. So close. Oh, just. Just. If it wasn't for that emergency break, we would not have made that. We literally only had two meters to spare. Like, damn. Back to three. 
Right, for some reason we've now been stopped here. Alright, so our controller signaler has denied us and we have to wait. That's all I know. Oh, there we go. We have our, I think that's the all clear to go. Proceed. Yep, perfect. Off we go. Literally stopped with two meters to spare any longer, and that would have been a fail. Um, I'm not going to pick up too much speed here because this is telling us to stop again in about 900 meters. So I'm not sure if it will change as we get closer. If it does, I'll increase speed. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep it where we are. So I can just decrease back down very quickly. Without having to hit emergency button. Alright. So, it's coming up. So I'm just going to start decreasing And this time we stopped with three meters to spare. We are getting better. Green light, off we go again. And we also can't go too fast because in 15 minutes, speed drops to 32. Okay, now it's showing me no signal. No, nothing right now. I wonder if that's part of the way this is. Because the speed's just gone up. Alright.
I wonder if they vanish because something to do with this reroute. But it makes it harder because I can't see whether we've got an upcoming stop sign or something. All I know is we get to hassle, get to hassle in 1.8 k's. And we are on the other train track as well because we were on the left side, we're now on the right. that without the signal that, oh hang on no let's just decide this time security personnel tour this station 24 hours a day that's nice to know go to bright. Next stop, 11 k's. Final stop. So these next 11 k's up here, it's going to be interesting because I have no markers showing up whatsoever. As I said, I don't know if it's part of just this scenario or if the game is glitching at the moment because I've been playing for two hours straight now. I just don't know. Um, so I'm just going to take it slow and cautious on this last 10 Ks. And if that means I'm a little bit late, I'm a little bit late. Oh, okay. Literally, personnel in front of that train. That's 
why the ray wrap. And that's why I moved to the right track. Well, that does make a little bit of sense now. Right, I'm just going to keep my speed around 90. We've only got 8.6 Ks until we're at Brighton anyway. I can't believe it's 20 past 6 at night already. It's like, damn, today's just flown. Yeah, no, I'm not going to because I can't see anything as to what's going on and I'm not that far away from Brighton anyway. Um, and knowing my luck, especially with this route, um, sorry, this scenario is anything could pop up and then I've got to do it all over again. Mm. There we go, the markers are back. So it was literally part of the scenario going past where they um, um train people were in front of that train so now I will increase the speed literally now go up to full speed I knew there had to be a reason for it. Right, 3.9 Ks, we go to 64, then we're just outside of Brighton. Which, if I am right, is our final... Ooh. Uh, I went over speed. Which, if I remember right, is also our final station. Yes, it is. But then, according to that, I think it wants to do a return. Eh. Yeah, I can see that. But still, you'd have to still with still deal with the stop signs and everything and that as well.
Uh, so that was a slow decrease to 63 because in a couple of hundred meters we dropped to 64. And we're only 1.8 kilometers out of Brighton. Oh, that was white and they're dropping us a little bit more. No, I don't want to increase speed, you dumbass. Alright, and then we're going down to 40. So as, not, as long as nothing catches me off guard in the next 1,000 meters, we will be good. Oh. I, I really, really dislike that horn. I like this one. to Brighton and because of my cautionness we are a little bit late but not much Is the platform? Which side are the doors on? The doors. The platform. Ah, it's on the other side. Alright. So, we're here at Brighton. Yes, I know. Looks like we're very close. To, yeah, really close to the barrier too. If we would have hit that, that would have been a fail. Okay, we actually completed that scenario at long fucking last. Alright, so I've got my character up to about two-thirds of the way through level 10. The London Commuter, which is the DLC we're using right now, I'm up to level 8. Um, I'm not sure what it goes up to, but I'm up to level 12 on this... Um, train as well so I still got my gold star so we we actually walked a distance of 4.8 meters that was by me getting a little bit of um, a leg stretch 
so we drove 81.72 kilometers and it took one hour six minutes and 55 seconds so because i've been streaming for just over two hours this is where i'm going to end this scenario um and i will be back with another one a bit later um and what did warren say Yes, definitely no coughing or sneezing at that little last part because if I would have crashed into that red bit at the end, that would have been, I would have been so pissed because I would have had to do the whole thing all over again just by doing that little bump. Yeah, no. All right, well, you sleep well and um, I will talk to you tomorrow. Um, and thanks for watching, and this is Kengi out. I hope you enjoyed the stream, and I will see you all again a bit later. This is Kengi out. Have a good one. Cause I might have won Dark days when we part ways Let's stay firm and unite as one Stay alive, keep breathing You can't leave for no reason My heart knows that I need this And my scars show when I'm bleeding But I cover up and I pull through Cause if I can, then you too Reach your home run when you broken I'm growing up, I'm in motion And I'm running through the city when it's night And I'm feeling so alive that I might Get it any minute, I'ma live it I'ma love it when I got it And I'm never giving up this fight So know that it's humanity A teenage dream to reality All people, we all need so let's recharge this battery